what's going on guys? Today on this episode of Trail Recon, we've got a requested two-door Jeep. I know a lot of folks have been asking, Brad, get a two-door on there, and today we've got one in, and this one is so nice, guys. This one was actually at SEMA this year, and it's got a ton of mods that we're really excited about. Let me introduce you to the owner, Orlando, man. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Brad, how are you? Man, thanks uh, for coming out this morning and letting us take a look at the Jeep. Uh, tell us, man, what, what year is this? What we got? It's a 2012 JK Sport with the 3.6 liter Pentastar. Nice, and the color? Deep cherry red. Dude, actually. it's a beautiful color, man. I Thanks. love it, it looks so good. It shines up nice. It does, it really does, man. And you have got so much work in there, man. What was it like being at SEMA? Oh, SEMA was a mess, man. It was a little bit of everything. A lot of trucks, a lot of cars, a lot of people, models. Um, and typically buyers go there to see what's new on the market and what's coming out. So you're interacting with a lot of different people from, from the industry, which is great to get your name out, to get your vehicle out which leads to sponsorships, sure. you know, and then of course having resources to go to if you have questions and yeah. you get to check out the new stuff. Cool, well let's talk about all the great stuff you got on here, man. Let's start with uh, bumpers and winch, what do we got? Sure. So it's a Smitty Built XRC MOD, it's their modular stubby bumper okay. um, with the Stinger option here. And I went ahead and went Smitty Built on my winch also, it's their 8, 8K. 8,000 pound winch. Okay, have you uh, used your winch much? No, I have it, and okay. that's why I'm glad I went with Smitty Built. You yeah. know, it's a cheaper brand, a cheaper price point with synthetic rope, so it's there if I need it, Sure. Um, versus not having it when I need it, so. Okay, nice, and I love, man, I love your light setup. Talk to me about the lights you got up here. Thanks, so I went with Rigid uh, for everything except for the headlights, Okay. Um, and Rigid light bar, these little guys act as my fog lights, which are nice, and they, they work out great. They're not, you know, super annoying to oncoming traffic, but they light up the night pretty well. Right, nice. And then, man, you've got uh, you got a light bar that you just don't see on most Jeeps, man. What do we got up there? I love it. Really don't. So this is from Smitty Built as well. Uh, I didn't want to do the full light bar like yep. everyone. I want something different, sure. and I like the old look of the pods with the little light bar in the middle. And so again, they're the Dually D2s. Um, and then I think that's an E-Series rigid in the center. Yeah, it's, it looks good, man. It's very nice. Thanks. And uh, the snorkel, now you're running a snorkel on here. What's that? Right, that's from Rugged Ridge. Okay. Uh, it's also modular. So right now I have the tall stack on it, so it gets all the fresh air. Um, keeps a lot of dust out of the air box. Yeah. Um, you can change it down to a low mount, so you don't have to have the full size piece on there, which okay. is great. Uh, there's a drain in the bottom for when we get rainy weather like we have had. Uh, so when it catches water, you can just open the pipe, let it drip out, and you're sure. good to go. Nice, awesome, yeah. very cool. And you got, uh, looks like you got the Factor 55 up here. So really cool story with this. We were at the TDS Desert Safari, I think it was the 51st, and uh -huh. they were there as one of the stores, companies, whatever, sure. showing, showing their product. They had a box of mess ups there, and this particular mess up was the wrong color red. Well, it just so happened to match my paint, uh -huh. and they gave it to me for like 40 bucks. Oh man, what a so, good deal. Heck very yeah. nice, I love it. Uh, they're, they're, they're very strong too, which I like, I have it on my Jeep. Right. Talk to me about the headlights, man, what do we got? JW speaker, and this is the latest ver version of the Evolution J with the half halo, which is nice because you don't have to have the special module to control the flickering. Okay. Um, it's pulling enough draw where it actually stabilizes just like a normal light would. Sure. But they're LEDs with projectors and yeah. great, great at night. Um, I had truck light headlights before that. A uh, ton of hours using them. I always have my headlights on day or night. Yeah. Um, and I think I just burned through them pretty quick because of that. Um, I did like the high beams on those better, but these low beam patterns are really nice. nice. So they work well, out great. Very cool, man. Well, let's uh, let's go talk tires and suspension. Sure. Awesome. All right, man, uh, tell us what lift we got on here. So it's a three and a half inch Rubicon Express lift. I've got their adjustable control arms. I went with TerraFlex for the track bars. Okay. Uh, TerraFlex for my sway bar disconnect. Uh, I went with Curry for the uh, heavy duty steering and tie rod kit. Okay. Um, went with uh, aftermarket ball joints too, Synergy at ball joints. Sure. Um, and then of course the drive shafts from Rubicon Express as well. Nice, a lot going on under there. Yeah. And you've got, uh, you got a little bit of strengthening going on on the uh, axles? Yeah, so I kept the stock axles. I wasn't planning on going larger than 35. Um, a lot of people give the Dana 30 crap, but you know, I put a truss kit from G2, okay. uh, G2 gears as well and I haven't had any problems. They look great and they, yeah. they seem tough enough for the type of wheeling that I'm sure. doing. Yeah, you know, that's important. A lot of people put bigger tires on there and they don't think about that strengthening, so that's awesome. And what gears are you running in there? 488. 488, I know it makes a difference because when you were stepping on the gas away up here, I was like, oh, I can't keep up. I need to do that here soon. <laughs> well, also when we talk about engine mods, I also have a 91 octane tune on here with some super chips, so that helps as well. Oh, very cool, man. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk wheels and tires. What do you got? Great, so I went with BF Goodrich KO2s. Uh, Probably the best tire I've had so far. I've done, gone with pro comps. I've had good years. I've done mud terrains, all terrains. Sure. Um, obviously, the all season, the, like the standard tire that comes in, and this has been my favorite tire so yeah. far. 
zero problems with the tons of traction and snow, mud, dirt, sand, you name it, rain, especially lately. Sure. It's been awesome. And they're wrapping uh, from my wheel sponsor, Gear Alloy. Uh, they're 17 by 9 inch. It's the 740B manifold is the model number on okay. it. Um, and they had such a cool look when, when I found them with, with the rugged edges on it. It kind of matches the look I was going for with my Jeep. Nice. Well, they look great, man. I really like them. Thank uh, you. Very nice. And you got, uh, we've got the Bushwhackers up here. Yeah, the Bushwhacker flat fenders. And a lot of Jeeps have these. Um, and the reason why is because they're flexible. Yeah. They look good. They're lightweight. Absolutely. So. And what do you got for uh, rock sliders? Rock sliders. I went with Smitty Built as well. You know, I have a lot of Smitty Built parts on mine. Yeah. When, when I was initially shopping, that was kind of the brand that Four Wheel Parts pushed. I liked the way they looked and the price was right. Well, um, they're nice. just they're standard SRC sliders. Cool. Well, let's go take a look at the back, man. All right, buddy. Talk to me about what we got going on back here. You got uh, the Smitty Built bumper, right? Yeah, it's a Smitty Built XRC Gen 2. So I went with their Gen 1 originally, okay. and it was great, it served its purpose, but the way that the tire carrier work is a separate piece. This one's attached to the tailgate, a lot more convenient for me. Uh, makes it feel heavy, but it's just because of the everything, all the weights on that side of the bumper on, on top of the pin. Okay, nice. Well, it looks good. And, and I was driving up here and I was like, man, I like how he's got the light mounted up here. What do you got over here? What is this? So it's a diffused amber light from Rigid. I think it's their, their little three inch or three light, whatever. Um, but it's great for dust. Every time we're out in Ocotillo, ends up regular in the summer, everyone's kicking up a ton of dust. Yeah. Uh, the amber light pierces everything. You can see where I'm at, so no one's gonna rear end me, at least hopefully, that's the idea. Nice, and you've got, uh, you got the camera up here. Yeah, so this camera has really good night vision, not so much during the day, the color's a little washed, but it was great for my Alpine stereo you'll see inside. Um, so when I'm backing up, you know, if I have, obviously, a tinted window or a bunch of stuff in the back, I can still see what's behind me. Okay. And uh, you were rumbling on the way up here, man. Tell me what we got going on underneath. <laughs> yeah, it's a Magnaflow Competition Series exhaust. It's uh, what was it? It's the highest level you can get that's still street legal or Cal approved, Cal Trans approved, whatever. So it has a great noise. I don't know if it added any power, but I love the way it sounds. Yeah, so. nice. How's the driving down the freeway? Any drone or anything like that? You know, I love the noise. I, I didn't buy this to be a luxury vehicle, yeah. and so I like it. Some people can would, would describe it as being a little bit of a drone, yeah. but I think it sounds great. Well, it's a Jeep. Right. Okay, cool. Well, let's go take a look at your interior, man. You got some good stuff in there. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Uh, the interior of your Jeep is beautiful. Talk to us about what's going on, man. So I started out with the Corbo A4 racing seats. Um, I had the cloth version, and because I like driving with the top and doors off, they they basically faded in the sun really quick. So then I switched to the leather, and the cushion on these is amazing. They're great for road trips, great for being off-road. Okay. Um, I also matched them with the Corbo five-point harnesses. The roll cage is from Rockhard 4x4, and it's their harness bar as well. Uh, along with the stock roll cage, I had it all painted flat black to match, so it kind of makes it look like it's a full custom cage, and really it's half stock, half bolt-in, um, but I think it turned out pretty well. Okay, nice. In terms of electronics, I went with the Alpine Restyle, which they cut out the whole center piece of your deck and put this beautiful thing in there. Yeah, that's nice. A huge 9-inch screen, a great 3D uh, GPS system. You get plug-in for HDMI, for Bluetooth, for regular USB, um, satellite radio, obviously and I have those all tied to Alpine Type S speakers, uh, stock sizes and the stock spaces, um, but I added a six inch JL subwoofer in the back. I like your uh, your phone mount down here. Yeah, like so it. this worked out really well. Uh, Ram mounts provides it and you can get the different tops for the different devices. And since I had the custom input for my stereo put into the center console here, this was the perfect spot to stick the Ram mount. Nice. Plugs my phone right in. Cool, now all those accessories, man, what switches are you running? Yeah, so they're just a standard little, you know, rigid industries, red lights over here, nothing special. And then down here I actually have the rigid industries, red rock lights underneath. Okay. So simple, four switches is all I needed. Um, at the time I didn't know about the S-Pod, um, so you'll see the rat's nest next to my battery. Okay. What, uh... What radio are you running up in here? So this is my ham, the uh, FT7900 from Yesu. Okay. It's a uh, dual band um, ham radio, and I have it connected to a dual band antenna, so no tuning needed. It's just plug and play, super easy install. And I have the external speaker up here, so um, while my exhaust is making all that noise, the stereo's turned up, I can at least hear who's talking to me. Okay, cool. All right, man, I, I know you mentioned uh, you had the super chip in here. What, uh, what did that do for you? So the Super Chip Flash Pack actually let me put in a 91 octane tune. Uh, got to do things like keep my fog lights on when you turn your brights on, okay. um, as well as change my gearing for the speedometer. Um, and then eventually when I'm ready to change up my transfer case, uh, I'll be able to tune that as well. Okay, and you've got an upgraded radiator? Yeah, I went with aluminum radiator. It's a lot uh, lighter weight than the stock one. Um, people will tell you that uh, copper is better, which is true for dissipating heat, but the aluminum is lighter. This is bigger. As you can see, it sticks up quite a bit from sure. the, where the stock radiator was. Um, and then it's from Mishimoto, along with their red tubes. I thought the red would be a cool yeah, accent yeah. to have. 
Nice. Then you got a, looks like a K&N filter in there. Yeah, a K&N air filter, washable. Uh, with the snorkel, I don't have to pull it out as often. Okay. Um, and the greased up filter may seem like a better choice for me. Nice. And uh, you've got, talk to me about all your wiring, your battery back there. Yeah, so the battery came from Optima at SEMA. Uh, they sponsored the battery for the SEMA show and gave me some stickers to put on the, on the Jeep. Um, all the wiring there is for everything from my subwoofer, all the lights, uh, the winch. Um, I unfortunately didn't know about the S-Pod, like I said, uh, but I think it turned out all right. You know what? Uh, for not having an S-Pod, man, I think it actually looks pretty clean. You did a really good job. Thanks. All right, man, so out of all these cool things you've done to your Jeep, what's uh, your favorite mod you've done? I think my favorite mod by far is that Terraflex sway bar disconnect kit. Uh, being a sport, I don't have the, the cool electronic sway bar disconnect like the Rubicons, and I got tired of pulling pins and sticking things you know, up on other pins. Uh, all I have to do now is just turn a knob, and I'm good to go. Well, very nice. Uh, what's next? What's next? Well, again, being a sport, you know, I'm ready for that lower range transfer case. So I think I might go with an Atlas, a 4.3 to one transfer case would, would uh, match up real nice to my 488 gearing. Yeah, man, that'll be really, really nice. Awesome. Okay, uh, so since you've had this Jeep, what's been kind of the sticky situation you've been in? For that, I gotta go back to when I first bought it. The, the very first week I had it, I actually still had my paper plates. I was at the 50th anniversary for the TDS Desert Safari, my first time off road. Yeah. Um, I can't explain to you how nervous I was, shaking. I think I, my blood pressure dropped. Um, going up and down the hills, and it's a manual gearbox. I didn't know about four low. Those are, those are the, the short details. Basically, yeah. it was the most nerve-wracking experience for me ever in this yeah. thing, and it's just it's gotten better since. Sure. Well, you find, eventually everybody realizes, hey, it's a Jeep. It can do that. No right. problem. Right. But some of us don't realize that in the beginning. I was the same way, man. Cool. Uh, what's been your favorite trail? Favorite trail? Uh, let's see here. We've done uh, things like Moab. We've done Big Bear. Um, Gold Mountain up in Big Bear has probably been the coolest trail yeah. for me. Gold Mountain is very nice. What's on your bucket list? Bucket list, gosh, we gotta do the Rubicon. That's like everyone has to do, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but if anyone's watched a video on the Uray trail system up in Colorado, oh, yeah. that's gonna take precedence. Colorado's beautiful, man. That would be a great spot. Well, dude, thank you so much for letting us take a look at your Jeep, dude. Uh, it's a beautiful rig, and I can't wait to see some of the other modified stuff you've got coming. Uh, thanks, man, have a good one. Thank you. So for all you two-door folks out there that have been wanting this, I hope this uh, was one that really kind of met your expectations. It's a beautiful rig. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, we hope to see you out on the trail.